Actually made it as big as with the Cubs. One, two is hit well out towards right center field. Going back is Wilson. He's going to run out of room as that one hits halfway up the wall. And how about Kate Curlin, an oppo double. Hit sharply up the middle. That's going to get through into center field. Raya Pell will be waved home. Mayo's throw will be up the line. It's two to one, Florida. Ruiz and Rivera, five, six, and seven. They're going to need at least two. They're going to need at least three. That one's gone also. Back-to-back -back homers. Cade Curland, his first of the year, and all of a sudden it's four to one, Florida. Almost the same area beyond the left field wall. Back to back for Shellnut and Curland. And now the Bulls bullpen is starting to get after. Well, we saw at the end of the eighth inning, Skeen kind of laugh off loud out on the warning track. 3-2 now, and this ball is drilled. Deep left field, an absolute no doubter, and it's gonna leave the stadium. Cade Curlin for the second time already in his freshman season leaves the yard and the Gators lead it to zip. Showed us something and this one is ripped down the left field side, halfway up the berm, home run Curlin. The Gators have ripped the game open. Two run shot makes it 10-4, Florida. That's a freshman, folks. Should be playing high school baseball right now at Berkeley Prep. He said, you know what? I think I'll play at Florida. I like the competition. Nice play. Get that autograph. Star of the eighth inning, defensively in the top half, and then this. Souvenir into left field. Gators up by six. Curlin 0 for 2, and he launches this one deep to left field, side over the fence. It's gone, and the Gators take a 2-0 lead. Cade Curlin should still be in high school. He looked like a veteran in this swing. In a game like this, Tom, there's so few opportunities to make a difference, and it's a 1-0 fastball. Robertson with a great at bat to get Furtado in the stretch. And Kay Curlin has been such a difference maker for Florida. There's one, and Kate hits it the other way pretty well. Pinckney is not going to see it, and that ball is deposited into the bullpen. So back-to-back -back days where Kate Curlin leaves the yard, an oppo shot for his seventh of the year, and the Gators back within one. Maturity beyond his class. Freshman. Pummels this right center field gap. Down for a base hit. Evans is home. Around third. Previsk is going to score. Here comes a third run. Curlin clears the bases. One way to erase a tough three strikeout day is to clear the bases and take the lead in the eighth. That is exactly what Curlin did just there. Phenomenal swing. Curlin, the freshman, came to campus early. He hits that ball on the ground right back up the middle. Robertson coming around, and Groff's going to lob it back in. So the Gators, they take a 3 nothing lead, a two-out RBI for Cade Curlin. And he hits that ball. That one's going to get past the infield. One run will come home to score for the Gators. They lead 4-2. to two. Cade Curlin did it in game one yesterday, and he does it again today. He lays off a good slider. The pitch before that gets a fastball down and in. He hits that ball in the air. Center field going back. Ethan Groff, it's gone. Home run. Kate Curlin, the freshman, he's doing it all today. A two-run home run. The Gators, they're up by five. Wow. Deep center field off the bat. Kevin O'Sullivan's got the runner going three times this inning. This slider is left elevated, just staying up. 
Curlin stays with it, drives it to center field. Four RBIs on the day. His last three at bats, three hits. He is getting it done at the top of the lineup for the Gators. Two of the best draft classes from a pitching standpoint. This one's rocking uh -oh, deep to uh -oh, right field. Uh -oh. And gone. There we go. Kate Curlin with his ninth of the season. All right, we got you on the headset. Yeah. Tell us about this kid. Well, we, we tease him during BP all the time, ask him how prom was last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> he should be in high school, so uh, no, it's good stuff. He's a great kid, really good student, obviously, to be able to come here early. And um, obviously, to, to do something like that against a pitcher like Dolander kind of tells you where he's at, you know, maturity wise. So, certainly a big pitch here. And it is drilled deep left field and out of the ballpark. A grand salami for Cade Curlin. And falling behind, really hurt right there. Tenth time this year that Curlin has left the yard. Five of those in conference playing with that swing. The Gators reclaim the lead. Well, a couple of pitches ago, you said they had the lead, and I said, well, that, that's how you want to look at it. The lead just became a deficit because Woods really has trouble command, and right now he just takes a high fastball about letter high, and he just crushes it. It's driven out to right center. Petrie looks up, and it's gone. A solo shot for Cade Curlin. His 11th home run of the season. And the Gators, they're on the board. They trail two to one. Drives that to right center. And D. Petrie looks up and it's gone. Into the bullpen. Second home run of the game for Cade Curlin. Second run of the game for Florida. Petra gave chase the first, didn't give too much chase to that one, recognized it right as it hit the air. But yeah, just a pitch left on the outer half of the plate, and Curlin does such a nice job with opposite field power. Curlin in the air, center fields. Wind blowing out. Wilmsmeyer goes back. It's gone. Number 13 for the freshman, Cade Curlin. Wasn't super effective. Opposite way and deep back to the wall, and that got over and into the bullpen off the bat of Cade Curlin. And for Curlin, that is home run number 14 on the year. Robertson trying to make a bid, get this thing uncorked. Home run. Cade Curlin. Make it 15 now on the year for Curlin. And it's a two out jack as the Gators strike first, one to nothing. Well, the chink in the armor for Petrell this year is the home run ball. That was his 10th he's given up, but just a solo. Hangs him a slider and he makes him pay. Keeps the hands back, foot down, arm and bat through. Fifth year for Williamson, 233rd game tonight. Whoa! Curlin from his knees. Got him. Incredibly diverse sports portfolio. I know. Well hit right field, wind blowing out. Curlin goes yard off the second fence. Home run number 16 for the freshman. I mean, as soon as he hit that ball hard and up in the air to, to right field, you just knew that one was going to sail out of here. First team all SEC choice, of course. And he hammers the breaking ball into left center field, and it's out of the reach of Ty Jackson. Cade Curlin's got a double on the second pitch he sees in his regional career. Smiling about that. Hester pulls it on the ground, and Curlin dives to stab and throws. In time! Wow! What people were expecting from LSU to start this postseason. Yeah, right field, Curlin, and exit stage right. He got into that thing, and it flew out in a hurry. The freshman takes Guidry to the pen. 
It's supposed to be in high school still. This was supposed to be his senior year. He left early.